Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to break down ransomware. What is ransomware? How do we get ransomware? And how can we probably prevent ransomware? So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning, let's have some fun. You know the drill. So I just wanted to go through this because I think this is really critical for the audience or just for people in general to understand what ransomware is. And how to stay safe from it, right? If, it, if you're just a normal user, or maybe you're an organization, maybe you're a small company, maybe you're a huge company, maybe a government agency or a hospital, it doesn't matter how big or small you are, you're a target. That's, there's no questions asked, you know, like there's no questions. I've seen, you know, people get ransomware, you know, in their little local shop, in their little local bodega or corner store, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then their little Windows Vista or Windows 10 machine got ransomware and they're asking for $5,000 or whatever. And obviously then it goes up to millions of dollars, right? And Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that cryptocurrency and stuff like that, all right? So yeah, so what, you know, what is ransomware? Like, have you heard of it? You know, if you have it, this is a little breakdown. You know, it's a type of cyber attack, right? Like. Me as a cybersecurity professional, you know, if I'm on the blue team side, I do have a blue team shirt. I didn't even realize I wore this shirt today. Um, you know, we would try to defend against this, right? We want to put security awareness training in place. Make sure you don't click on no crazy links. Maybe, you know, maybe review the email before you open it, whatever the case may be, right? So it's a type of a, you know, like I said, a cybersecurity attack that can lock your computer. Pretty much it, it holds your files hostage, right? Or for ransom, like, I'm going to get into your files and maybe say, hey, Mr. Client or Mr. Victim, you know, I'm going to go ahead and hold your, your, your data for hostage until you pay me a ransom. It's pretty much like if you go to, I don't want to say any countries, but you know, you go to South America, or any of these countries, you know, they'll kidnap you and hold you for ransom and they'll call your family and say, Pay me X amount of dollars to get your kid back to America, whatever. It's the same thing, but uh, in the cyber world, right? <laughs> and uh, thank God I never got kidnapped and hold a hostage. They can't really get anything out of me. I don't have anything. But um, yeah, so in a nutshell, it's a type of a cyber attack that will lock your computer files and hold them for ransom, right? All right, so now let's go ahead and explain how you can protect yourself from it, right? How can we do that? So, like I said, you know, ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts your files and demands payment, right? It's like I said, for a kidnapping or whatever, in exchange for a decryption key. So this is the key, right? Not the key meaning the decryption key, but this is the, the, the point of this. Sometimes you can pay a ransom and you don't even get your files back. You know, what if the hacker or what if the malicious intent is super critical and he's just having a bad day and he's not going to give you the de decryption key and then you're going to be SOL, right? So it can be spread by phishing emails. That's why, you know, something like no before, some kind of security awareness training, having this in place will prevent some of this or at least try to because the human element, us, the humans, are always susceptible to a click of a button and if we do that click of a button, we can get into trouble, right? I have family members that clicked on phishing links. I was a victim of it. If anyone ever heard my story of how I even got into this world of cyber, right? Selling sneakers. And I ended up clicking on a phishing link and a Nigerian prince stole like $900 from me, right? This was many years ago, but I was a victim of it as well, right? So it can be a malicious website. It can be an unpatched software vulnerability. So many things with this ransomware can be, right? Sorry, I have an itch. All right, so, so how can we protect ourselves? That's what I was gonna say before, but I just went into a rant. So the number one thing we could probably do is back up our files, right? We wanna make sure all of our files, our servers, our main critical by file server, 
is protected, right? And encrypted. Say for example, we can, we can encrypt our backups when we back up that file, the data at rest, that's resting wherever the data is, make sure that's encrypted. So, you know, no one can main, make sense of that data if they get a hold of it, right? So the next thing is uh, keep all your software and your devices up to date, meaning have it patched. Make sure you have a good patch cycle. Make sure you're up to date on your, you know, do internal vulnerability scans to make sure you're up to date with your, you know, software patching, maybe your code, whatever the case may be, right? And always update the security awareness training. Make sure those folks are up to par because like I said, the human element is the weakest link. Sucks to say, right? Use endpoint protection. Use an EDR, NDR. You know, and what is all this? This is like uh, endpoint detection and response, network detection and response. You know, all these kind of XDRs, you know, have the, all these extended, you know, endpoint protections. So, God forbid something gets on your machine. Because if even, even if ransomware or a virus or a malware is on your machine, if it's not active, it can be a persistence or you can just sit there and chill out, sleep until it's activated, right? So your EDR may not even see this on your machine until it's activated. So you have to be aware of that as well. So obviously, you know, use something like CrowdStrike or, you know, I don't even want to throw companies out there. Whatever floats your boat, use it. You know, there's, there's so many good ones out there. So whatever you're using, make sure it's always up to date and you're, you're, you should be good to go, right? Be cautious of emails and links that you're clicking on, websites that you're visiting. Make sure like if you get an email from someone that you're unaware of, you can take this email and sandbox it. You know, throw it into URL, I think it's scanurl.io or whatever. And you can throw it in there and put it in a sandbox and see if it's a legit site. You can run, you know, run it through Total Virus. So there's so many sites that you can run and make sure you, you know, you do some malware analysis before you end up clicking on any crazy links or files or whatnot, right? And another thing is that we can use is strong passphrases. I don't even like to use the word passwords anymore. I don't even use a password. I just use a password vault and I just randomly, you know, generate some crazy long password or phrase or whatever it says. And that's why if you ask me what my password is, sometimes I, I know a few. But a lot of them I don't even know anymore because I just use a password manager and, you know, call it a day. And on top of that, you can enable MFA, multi-factor authentication, in order to have that extra layer of security, right? So more protection, the better off you are, right? So, all right, so what do you do if you are infected, right? So this is all the prevention. This is all what it is. Now, God forbid you get infected. Your machine, your company is infected. Holy moly, what do we do now? In my, in my God honest opinion, maybe because I'm not a panic person, I don't really panic for much unless there's like family or something critical. Um, but I don't really get scared of many things. But um, if you're infected, don't panic. You know, just chill out. Maybe disconnect your cable or if you're on Wi-Fi, just disconnect from the internet so that thing doesn't spread, right? So your, the malware doesn't spread. And if it's you, a personal computer, call your, the, the IT guy in your family or whatever, or, or call Ghostbusters. I don't know. But like call someone that knows about computers or antivirus, or excuse me, like viruses or use like your, your normal Joe Blow that knows about computers, what they'll probably do is what they can do is take it off the network. Hopefully you have a backup of this. This is why backups are so critical. And then you can just maybe re reformat your computer and call it a day and bring it all back up if you don't have a lot of software. If you're an organization, on the other hand, call your IT or call the InfoSec uh, um, department and have them isolate, you know, isolate your machine run scans on that machine, make sure it hasn't spread, and you know they can go ahead and, and do their thing. And the most important thing that I'm going to say, never, 
never pay the ransom because it's not guaranteed that you're going to get your files back anyway, right? So never pay. Maybe because I'm the cheapskate, I'm the, I will never pay. First of all, I don't even use antivirus. I don't even use endpoint protection. I don't use that stuff because it's like, if you want to compromise my machine, you're not going to get much because I don't have much on it. You're going to only get these videos that I'm just posting on YouTube. But um, no, in, in all seriousness, just always make sure you, you know, you're protected, right? Um, so there is obviously some kind of uh, some examples out there, of, you know, the crazy ransomwares like WannaCry. Uh, there was Petya, I think that's how you say it, P-E-T-Y-A. Um, what other ones are out there? Um, there's a whole bunch, right? And these target small businesses, big businesses, hospitals, government agencies, a whole bunch of stuff. And what does it do? It causes disruption and financial losses. If you're compromised and you, you know, if you pay this ransom, which probably a lot of people do, right? Because they panic. Don't panic. No reason to panic. We only live once. This is not going to kill you, right? Um, but yeah, that's just my spiel of, of ransomware, what it is, how can we stay protected from it, and a little bit of insight about it, right? So it's a serious, serious, it, it is a serious threat that can be caused to do a lot of damage. I'm not going to say it's not. But if you follow these tips, you know, you can protect yourself, you can protect your family, you can protect your company from these ransomware so your files are safe from these attacks. So yeah, I think uh, that pretty much sums it up, right? So I really appreciate you checking this out. If you have any questions or if you have any insight that I missed, or if you want to add anything, throw it in the description below. And I'm more than happy to learn just as much as I am giving this information out there. So until next time, folks, have a beautiful day. and. Uh, Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Today is Mother's Day, so thank you so much. Appreciate it. Much love.